Hi everyone, it's Bex here with Cedric. If you could use the raise hand function and we will come to you. Cedric, you can look at Connor when you answer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so if we can start with Ian Abrahams, please. Hi Cedric, how are you? You alright? Hello, I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Uh, can I, I've been asking managers and players throughout the day uh, for your reaction on fans coming back into stadium, hopefully from next week. I mean, I know you've all been playing behind closed doors for nine months now, but I mean, this must be a, an exciting moment, a moment whereby you feel that your life's getting back to normal. Um, yes, 100%. Uh, it's exciting, it's exciting to, be, to be fair. We have the fans back in the stadiums. Um, of course, needs to be safe for everyone. This is the most important uh, thing. But uh, yes, we, we miss our fans a lot. And, uh, it's an exciting moment, 100%. Um, the schedule's been pretty punishing for you guys, you know, playing twice a week and, and not having a lot of rest off the back of not really having much of a pre-season. Um, what do, what do you feel about how much you're being asked to play and, and, and how difficult and how tired maybe you're all feeling? Maybe you can explain that for me. About the games, the number of games. Yeah. So, um, yes, uh, I think this is, this is part of football. Um, me, personal, as a player, I love to, to have a lot of games because you are always in action. You, you always need to prepare immediately for next game. Um, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's tough, um, but everyone uh, has more space also to play and, and uh, I think it's, it becomes a more competitive uh, game. So I think 100% that um, for a player, I think it's positive. And finally, what advice would you give to Nicolas Pepe? You sent off last week for what was a, a pretty idiotic thing to do to, to headbutt someone. Uh, what, what would you... What, what advice have you given him as a senior professional on, on his behaviour and how he can control his frustrations? Listen, it's uh, also part of football. Um, it's normal that sometimes the, the player can lose his head in some moments. Uh, of course, we, we need to try to avoid it as much as, as possible. Um, but yes, Nico apologised and uh, to the team and uh, uh, he knows he did a mistake, but... Uh, now it's gone, we need to look forward and, and go from there. Thanks, Ian. If we can go to Mark Irwin now, please. Hi, Cedric. Um, you said there just now that you love, you're a player who loves to play a lot of games. But I mean, since you've been at Arsenal, you've, you haven't played that many games. You've been involved in a few Europa League games. I know you had the injury early on, but did you expect to be more involved when you came to Arsenal? Oh, of course, I, I always I came here, uh, of course, to fight for, for my plays, to fight to play as well. Uh, I'm, I'm paid to, to play. Uh, so, of course, we, we want to be, to be part of it. We want to be, be there every game. And this is what I'm training for. This is what I'm, uh, when I have the chance, I, I try to do. I feel good. I'm in a good moment, I think. Um, I'm confident. So, um, when I have the opportunity, I need, I need to do the best out of it every time. And this is how I think, you know, I, I grew up like this. Uh, so I, I believe that uh, is, you need to work always the, in your highest level. And, and then it's up to the manager, of course. Thank you. Thank you. We can go to Sam Dean now, please. Hi, Cedric. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, firstly, congratulations on the the newborn baby. Um, Mikel said last week that he's seen a big change in you recently. Is, is that part of it, do you think? And, and what has changed in the last few weeks for you? Uh, thank you, first of all. I mean, I, I, always, I always came here, when I came here to, for Arsenal, of course I had a, a few injuries. I didn't start straight away. Um, but since then I have <laughs> been giving my, my 100% every training. Uh, Every training, every game I played, you, guys, you can <laughs> think you you know better than me uh, by watching the games. When I have opportunities, one thing is for sure, I will give my 100%. Um, what changed? I, I don't know what changed, but uh, I was I grew up like this. Uh, on I have to fight for everything I get, so 
is is normal you know i'm here to to do my my best in every training and and i'm ready for the coach uh, when he wants to use me i will be here uh, ready for the team to support my teammates as well and the most important thing is that we we achieve good things in in our season as well you were obviously part of the portugal team that won the euros four years ago and then in the world cup squad two years ago is it your plan and expectation to work back into the Portugal team ahead of next summer? Yes, I was a long time in the in Portugal squad for, for a few years. Um, and of course, it's always, it's always a, a dream for every player to, to belong to this uh, short group. Uh, and uh, yes, I'm, uh, I know that the most important thing is uh, to do my job in my club. Um, to play as much as I can and play well, help the team to achieve good things here. And the national team just came in a natural, natural way. And, and just lastly for me, on the manager's style and the system he plays with, does that take much time to get used to and, and to adapt to? And is it very different to what you have played in before at previous clubs and with your country? Um... Yeah, every every coach has a different style. Uh, of course, Mikel Mikel is a is a very good coach. Um, he knows what he wants in every game, and this is actually a good stuff. You know, he tries to 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 give us uh, the best idea possible to explain us uh, everything what you expect from the play in every position. Um, and I think in the long term, uh, it will help us on the pitch. You know, um, it's a question of adaptation as well. It takes a few time, but uh, the players are learning. The players are improving, um, and uh, we need to, we need to make it more consistent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If we could go to Martin next, please. Hi, Cedric. Could you please tell us uh, what you know about your opponents tomorrow? Do you, do you actually know some of the players? Yes, um, we played against them. Um, um, not long ago, maybe two, three weeks ago. Uh, we knew already it would be a tough game. It was a tough game. So we expect uh, definitely a difficult game tomorrow here. Um, they have good players, quick. They have also a strong striker. And, uh, you know, they are, um, they are always looking for, for spaces uh, in our backs and to quick contra-attacks as well. So um, it will be a tough game, 100%. How will it affect your game that uh, the match is played on artificial grass? This is the top to the ball, etc., to the weather. And um, uh, no excuses. We are here to play, to compete, and uh, to try to win the three points. Thank you. Thank you. And if we go to Nick now, please. Hi, Cedric. Thanks a lot for your time today. Um, Obviously, um, there's there's quite a lot of talk at the moment about the team not scoring many goals and and not creating as many chances in the Premier League as normal. Now, I know you're 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 a fullback, but of course, it's the whole team's responsibility. Um, are the players concerned at all about the drop off in in creativity, and why do you think that might be, and how do you think you'll go about making it better? I, I agree with you when you say that is everyone's responsibility. It's the same with when we defend. When you concede too many goals, it's not just defenders. You know, it's it's everyone, and it's the same here. I think um, we know that we we are missing um, to create maybe more chances, and we are working on it. We have been trying to improve on it, and uh, I'm sure we we will improve in the in the next games. Uh, this is also one of our targets to, to, to keep sustaining an attack, to create more chances because by creating more chances is more likely we score more often and uh, and we we need to do, we need to do both but most important is, is to win games and this is what we are here uh, for and this is what we fight for. Thank you. Thank you. And Art to speak next please. Earlier about Mikel's instructions to different players in different positions, and since you've come to the club, he's played with a back three sometimes, sometimes a back four. I was just wondering what other instructions he gives to you and other players in your position as wing backs. As wing backs or as a full back? Either one, whichever one you play as. This is a very specific question, but. Um... 
I think he wants players that know the game. He wants a player that can play in this moment, sometimes wide, sometimes in the middle, uh, sometimes even a little bit more back. And then, and it's important to be able to to play um, as a full back, as a wing back in all these three positions. Um, defensive is the same. Defensive is a little bit more specific, but offensively, like I told you, you need to be able to to have these three positions. That sometimes you are a midfielder, sometimes you are a winger. Um, and uh, if you see our rotation on the side, it works quite uh, a lot. And uh, normally players pass in all the three positions. Um, yeah, basically that's it. Is that something you've been quite comfortable with adapting to since coming from Southampton then? Yes, in Southampton, uh, you, you know, we is a team in that moment that we also... Uh, passed a lot of moments with the ball and without the ball. So you kind of, with 29 years old, normally <laughs> you should have experience to, to enough to to pass in all these moments of the, of the pitch as well and uh, on the game. And sometimes you are defending deep, sometimes you are defending more uh, up on the pitch. And uh, the same defense, def- the same with the ball. Um, sometimes you need to, there is game you need to go more. Uh, sometimes there is games you need to be more smart and stay more in uh, um, as a position player, and um, and that's it. It's a little bit uh, up to the player and to the manager how he see every any game every game. Do you have a preference, fullback or wing back? I play I play everywhere. Even if you put me goalkeeper, I will try to do my best. You know, uh, this is how I grew up. Uh, you need to respect. The coach, if he asks you something, you need to try to do the best. The player should have the knowledge of the game. Of course, you have some qualities that are stronger in one or other positions. But uh, like I said, you need to be ready to play any position. Thanks. Thank you. And Arilas? Hi, Cedric. Welcome to Norway. Hello. Thank you. Um, you have a teammate who's a Norwegian. I think uh, you played together when he made his debut this uh, summer, uh, George Lewis. Um, what's your um, impression of him? I know he's injured right now, but uh, do you see a future in him? Sorry? George Lewis. Hello. Yes. Sorry. Uh, yes, he's a winger. Uh, I think he trained a few times with us. He's a good player, you know. Uh, everyone that is in uh, Arsenal Academy normally, and they they have the chance to come to the first team, they do the best out of it. And hundred uh, percent, I think uh, they, they all the kids they come up, they they have quality, and uh, it's a question sometimes of maturity and to keep growing. Um, like I said, uh, every player comes from the Arsenal Academy. Uh, it's expected high, high quality. Thank you, Cedric. Thank you. Thank you. And then lastly, Elisabetta. Hi, Cedric. Uh, can I just ask you this? Uh, there are reports coming from Argentina right now that Diego Maradona suffered a heart attack and passed away. Uh, can I have a uh, reaction from you on that and how big that this news is for a footballer that probably grew up with a player like Maradona? Do you have a memory of him? Hi, Elizabeth. Sorry, we, we're not sure if this is um, true or accurate news yet. We haven't seen anything yet, I'm afraid. No, it's just because, yeah, we are reading some reports coming from Argentina now at the moment. Okay. So maybe we, we call it off yeah, we, we would we would like to wait until we know if this if this news is accurate or not. Thank you. Okay. Unless there's any other questions for Cedric, I believe we have answered all of the questions with raised hands. So thank you very much, everyone.